Al-Qaeda Insurgency in Yemen, Wikipedia Article Audio Escalation into Full-Scale Civil War with Foreign Intervention Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula Background Timeline Supported by Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant Yemeni government Supported by United States, United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Jordan Houthis, supported by Early insurgency At least 96, at least 290, at least 248 killed at least 54 killed, at least 78 killed, total killed, 886 plus. United States, 17 sailors killed, 39 injured during USS coal bombing. Government crackdown. AQAP campaign. Houthi rebellion. Yemen a civil war. First Battle of Ladar The Al-Qaeda insurgency in Yemen refers to the armed conflict between the Yemen government with United States assistance, and Al-Qaeda-affiliated cells. The strife is often categorized as a sub-conflict in the greater global war on terror. Further attacks in Zinhabar Government crackdown against Al-Qaeda cells began in 2001 and reached an escalation point on January 14, 2010, when Yemen declared open war on Al-Qaeda. In addition to battling Al-Qaeda across several provinces, Yemen is also contending with Shia insurgency in the north and militant separatists in the south. Fighting with Al-Qaeda escalated during the course of the 2011 Yemeni revolution, with jihadists seizing most of the Abiyan governorate and declaring it an emirate at the close of March. A second wave of violence occurred throughout early 2012, with militants claiming territory across the southwest amid heavy combat with government forces. Battle of Huda In May 2013, attackers blew up Yemen's main oil pipeline halting the flow of crude oil. On March 19, 2015, the conflict escalated into a full-scale civil war. Revolution Yemen has come under pressure to act against al-Qaeda, since attacks on its two main allies, Saudi Arabia and the United States, by militants coming from Yemeni soil. Previous attacks linked to al-Qaeda in Yemen include the 2000 bombing of the USS Cole, the 2008 American embassy attack, and several attacks against foreign tourists. Yemen had already intensified operations against al-Qaeda in late 2009, when a Yemen-based wing of the group claimed to be behind the failed December 25th. 2009 attempt to blow up a Detroit-bound U.S. airliner, itself a retaliation against an attack against a training camp in Abiyan on December 17, killing many civilians. News reports have indicated substantial American involvement in support of Yemeni operations against al-Qaeda since late 2009, including training, intelligence sharing, several dozen troops from the Joint Special Operations Command, and limited direct involvement in counter-terrorism operations. Between August 1925, 2010, the Yemeni army launched a major offensive in the city of Ladar controlled by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Several militants including local leaders of al-Qaeda were killed during the clashes. On August 25 Yemeni authorities claimed to regain control of the southern town of Ladar, a great part of which was in the grip of suspected al-Qaeda militants during days of clashes with the army. On August 25, 
gunmen on motorcycles attacked a military patrol in Yemen's rest of south on Wednesday, killing four soldiers and wounding one, a security official said. The official said an early investigation indicated the attackers were members of al-Qaeda, which lately appears to have stepped up high-profile attacks in the south of this impoverished country. He did not provide details. The attack occurred in the Abiyan provincial capital of Zinhabar and brought to 53 the number of soldiers killed by al-Qaeda since May, the official said. He spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to talk to the media. On September 20 a number of militants attacked and took control of the village of Hoda in the southern parts of the country, prompting the army to counter-attack. This happened as the top U.S. counter-terrorism adviser John O. Brennan was on a visit to Yemen and discussed cooperation in the fight against al-Qaeda, according to the White House. Brennan met President Ali Abdullah Saleh and delivered a letter from Obama expressing U.S. support for a unified, stable, democratic and prosperous Yemen, National Security Council spokesman Mike Hammer said in a statement. President Saleh and Mr. Brennan discussed cooperation against the continuing threat of al-Qaeda, and Mr. Brennan conveyed the United States' condolences to the Yemeni people for the loss of Yemeni security officers and citizens killed in recent al-Qaeda attacks, Hammer said. Battle of Zinhabar Al-Qaeda militants besieged in the southern Yemeni town of Hoda were reportedly using residents as human shields in the second major clash between them and troops in recent weeks. According to officials Al-Qaeda elements are preventing residents from leaving Hoda, to use them as human shields. Post Saleh on September 24 the government siege of Al-Hoda ended after security forces took control of the town in the southern province of Shibwe. On March 31, 2011, AQAP declared the Al-Qaeda Emirate in Yemen. On December 2014, ISIL establishes a presence in Yemen, bringing it into conflict against AQAP. On March 19, 2015, the conflict escalated into a full-scale civil war. On May 27, 2011, about 300 Islamic militants attacked and captured the coastal city of Zinhabar. During the takeover of the town, the militants killed seven soldiers, including a colonel, and one civilian. In the months that followed the militants entrenched themselves within the city as the army resorted to aerial bombardment and artillery attacks. The insurgents responded with daily bombings and suicide attacks. By the end of the year almost 800 had been killed in total, with casualties almost equal on both sides. Adenabian Islamic Army, Islamic Jihad of Yemen, Ansar al-Sharia on March 4, militants launched an attack against an army artillery battalion on the outskirts of Zinhabar, overrunning it and killing 187 soldiers and wounding 135. 32 Al-Qaeda fighters were also killed during the fighting. The militants attacked the army base with booby-trapped vehicles and managed to capture armored vehicles, tanks, weapons, and munitions. The military reported 55 soldiers were captured while the militant group claimed up to 73 were in fact taken prisoner. The assault started with a diversionary attack on one end of the base, with the main militant force attacking the other end of the compound. Several car bombs were detonated in front of the gates, after which the attackers entered the base, capturing heavy weapons and turning them against the soldiers. Reinforcements from other nearby military bases came too late due to a sandstorm. It was also revealed that previous military claims of taking back the city were untrue, with the militants still controlling most of Zinhabar and a few surrounding towns, 
namely Jar where they paraded the captured soldiers. In the days following the attack, the military conducted airstrikes against militant positions around Zinhabar which they claimed killed 42 Al-Qaeda fighters. Second Battle of Lodar Sana Bombing 2013 2014 The Ansar al-Sharia group that took responsibility for the attack was believed to be just a rebranding of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, to make it more appealing to the devout rural population. Three days after the attack, the group led a Red Cross team into Jar to treat 12 wounded soldiers, and demanded a prisoner exchange with the government. Wilaya Sana, Wilaya Adenabian After the beginning of fighting around the city of Ladar in early April 2011, violence escalated around Zinhabar as well. At least six militants and two Yemeni soldiers were killed in a shootout on April 19. A major army operation followed in the end of the same month, with hundreds of troops advancing against militant positions in Abiyan province. Troops managed to reach the center of Zinhabar after several days of fighting, including an intense six-hour battle towards the end on April 25th. Three militants had been killed on the 23rd, and at least 46 died in the province during the next two days, including 15 near Lodar. Government casualties were initially not released, while meanwhile leaflets and a video released by Ansar al-Sharia contained threats to kill the 85 captive Yemeni soldiers unless the government withdraws its forces. Many of the Islamist forces operating in Abiyan province refer to themselves as Ansar al-Sharia. On January 14, 2012, hundreds of people displaced by months of fighting were allowed to return to their homes in Zinhabar after a temporary deal was reached between insurgent forces and the army units. Locals described widespread destruction across the city and several minefields that the army warned them about. According to reports, the militants held the western part of the city, while the east was controlled by government forces. Thousands of people previously held protests demanding an end to the fighting that has forced them to flee their homes in the south holding several 50 km marches from the port city of Aden to Zinhabar. Estimates of the number of people displaced from the government operations against the militants had risen to nearly 97,000. Yemen Army, Yemeni Republican Guard Attacks continued during the next weeks, including a suicide bombing on March 13 near al that killed four soldiers and left four other critically injured. After this attack militants posted a video in which they announced the capture of yet another soldier, bringing the total number of prisoners they hold to 74. They demanded an agreement to free imprisoned insurgents in exchange for the soldiers. On March 31, 2012 a large group of militants attacked an army checkpoint in Lahaj Governorate during the night, sparking a battle that left 20 soldiers and four insurgents dead. The attackers fled with heavy weapons and at least two tanks. Government forces later called in airstrikes that successfully destroyed one of the captured tanks, killing its three occupants. On December 12, 2013, security officials say more than 40 people have been killed in sectarian clashes between Sunni Islamic militants and northern rebel forces belonging to a branch of Shiites in northern Yemen. The officials say the fighting began when ultra-conservative Salafi took over a Hatha stronghold in a strategic mountainous area near the border with Saudi Arabia. The two sides battled with artillery fire, mortar shells, and machine guns in the town of Al Faga. 2015 Yemen 
On April 9 a large group of militants attacked an army base near the city of Ladar and briefly overran it during a battle where locals had to join the military to help drive them out. There were at least 94 people killed in that initial attack, including six civilians, 74 insurgents, and 14 soldiers. This was the third such assault in recent weeks, after two similar attacks in March left at least 130 soldiers dead and more than 70 as prisoners of Al-Qaeda-affiliated groups. Government sources raised the casualty figures yet again on April 10, bringing the total to 124 dead in two days including 102 militants, 14 soldiers, and at least 8 civilians. Local tribal sources confirmed the toll, adding that among the dead insurgents there were at least 12 Somalis and a number of Saudis. Reinforcements were being brought into the area as Air Force planes began bombing insurgent positions near Lodar and on the main road towards Zinhabar. Mukalla U.S. and U.K. Withdrawal 2016 at least 51 deaths were recorded on April 11, most of them Al-Qaeda-linked fighters. These included 42 militants, 6 soldiers, and 3 local militia members. The government reportedly sent an elite anti-terrorism squad to help in defeating the militants. As of April 13 the battle was still raging around the city with clashes spreading to nearby Mudia the only other town apart from Lodar that insurgents do not control in the province. Mortar shelling was reported for the second consecutive day by local citizens, with at least 17 civilians injured and the main power station reportedly on fire. After the government sent an additional 200 members of an anti-terrorism unit militants pulled out of the city and back towards the nearby villages of Umsara and Wadia leaving a few snipers behind. The official death toll on April 13 stood at 37, including 31 militants, five members of a tribal civilian militia and a child that was shot by an unidentified sniper. Authorities reported the city to be relatively quiet on Saturday, with only sporadic gunfire breaking the silence. On Sunday a suicide bomber killed two tribal militia members at a checkpoint in al Hadn, just outside Ladar. Six militants and two locals were killed in other clashes around the town, specifically in an area called al Minyaza. After a few quiet days, fighting resumed on April 18, with militants shelling the city and government forces ordering air strikes in retaliation. Two children were killed and at least five houses were destroyed during the mortar attacks, while six militants were confirmed dead in the airstrikes. The previous day a suicide car bomber had attacked an army checkpoint on the outskirts of Lodar, killing five Yemeni soldiers and injuring four more. On April 19 at least seven militants were killed after clashes with an army unit based in Lodar. Two days later Yemeni airplanes bombed militant positions in nearby Jebel Yasuv and al Minyaza, killing at least 13 fighters. On April 25 at least six militants were killed after their convoy was ambushed by local militia members. Fifteen insurgents were killed two days earlier after a similar incident. Fighting around the city on April 30 killed 12 militants, a soldier, and a tribal militia member. Meanwhile, insurgents continued their attacks across the country, as an army checkpoint near Aden was assaulted by a group of armed men in pickup trucks. In the ensuing gun battle at least eight attackers and four Yemeni soldiers were killed while three Al-Qaeda fighters and one security force member were wounded. Additionally, militants kidnapped a senior intelligence officer and two soldiers in the town of Rada south of the capital Sana'a. The town was briefly lost to the terrorist groups in January, before being taken back by government forces a few weeks later. 
By May 16, Yemen troops backed pro government tribal militias captured the Yusuf Mountain, a strategic force above the city, after heavy fighting. After doing so, it was announced that the militants had fled Lauder. On May 21, 2012, a soldier detonated a suicide bomb in a crowd of military personnel at the beginning of a rehearsal for a Unity Day parade in Sana'a. The bomb killed 96 and wounded more than 200, making it the deadliest attack in Yemen's history. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula claimed responsibility and described it as revenge for the continued offensive by the Central Security Organization. 2017 In May, attackers blew up Yemen's main oil pipeline, halting the flow of crude oil. In late May, Long War Journal reported that AQAP had been active in Hadramaut Governorate over the past several months and that on the May 24, they took seized control of villages near the Yemeni port city of Mukala in what an apparent bid to take over swathes of Hadramaut Governorate. The Interior Ministry said the seizure was a terrorist plot to proclaim an Islamic emirate in the Gail Bawazir area. Residents of Gail Bawazir said that the jihadists had taken advantage of an absence of security forces from the area to deploy in strength and had already distributed leaflets declaring their rule. The Long War Journal reported that on December 6, AQAP militants assaulted the Ministry of Defense building in Sana'a in what it claimed was an effort to strike at the US drone program 52 people were killed including 7 foreign nationals and 11 AQAP fighters. In 2014, AQAP claimed responsibility for over 150 attacks in Yemen using tactics such as IEDs, suicide bombings, and small arms attacks, targeting both Houthis and Yemeni military and government institutions, including military bases, the presidential palace in Sana'a, military checkpoints and vehicles, and the police academy in Sana'a, killing over 75 Yemeni government or military personnel. By early January, AQAP had regrouped in Hadramaut Governorate and other provinces after losing control of major cities in Abiyan and Shibwe provinces to government forces starting in late spring 2012. Hadramaut was the ancestral home of Osama bin Laden, and the province has become an AQAP stronghold over the past several years. On January 16, Al-Qaeda militants killed 10 Yemeni soldiers in three simultaneous attacks on army positions in Al-Bayda Governorate. Eight extremists were also killed in the assaults, which prompted further clashes with the army. Al-Qaeda assailants carried out simultaneous attacks against three military positions in Rada in Beta, an extremist stronghold, the official said. On March 24, Al-Qaeda militants attacked a military checkpoint near Riyadh in the province of Hadramaut, located 135 kilometers east of the provincial capital Mukalla. Twenty soldiers were killed as a result. On April 29, the BBC reported that the Yemeni military, with tribal leaders and locals, had launched an offensive against AQAP militants in Abiyan and Shibwe provinces. Saba News Agency described the extensive. The areas targeted included Abiyan's Al Mafid district and Azan in Shibwe, security sources told the Associated Press News Agency that eight suspected AQAP militants and three soldiers were killed in the offensive. Another report said 15 soldiers were killed in Shibwe province in a suspected ambush by AQAP fighters. Yemeni officials earlier in the month said that as many as 55 militants died in a government air campaign over Shibwe, Abiyan, and the nearby province of Beta. In July 2014, 
AQAP declared plans to establish an Islamic emirate in Hadramau province ordering men and women to obey its strict interpretation of Islamic law. On August 17, six suspected Al-Qaeda militants and three Yemeni soldiers died in clashes in the southeastern Hadramaut province, which became scene of many recent attacks on the army. On August 31, at least 11 Yemeni soldiers have been killed and 17 others injured by suspected Al-Qaeda militants in three separate attacks in the southern part of the country. On November 25, Yemeni special forces supported by U.S. special forces rescued eight hostages, killed seven militants and a member of the Yemeni forces wounded in a rescue mission. U.S. Drone and Cruise Missile Attacks On the December 31, a suicide bomber detonated explosives outside a cultural center during celebrations of the Prophet Muhammad's birthday killing 23 people. On January 7, 2015, a large car bomb detonated outside a police academy in Sana'a, Yemen. The attack killed at least 38 and wounded over 90. In mid-January 2015, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant declared it had established a branch inside Yemen the previous month and that they were recruiting fighters, bringing them into competition against AQAP. Al-Qaeda scored a major victory on April 2, 2015, taking advantage of chaos created by a full-scale conflict in southwestern Yemen and foreign airstrikes elsewhere in the country to capture the city of Mukalla from government forces. Al-Qaeda militants freed some 300 inmates from a jail in the city. The New York Times reported, Al-Qaeda's strongest opponents, the Houthis and Yemen's American-trained counterterrorism troops, have been busy fending off attacks from the Saudi military. The United States and the United Kingdom withdrew their forces in March 2015. In February 2016 Al-Qaeda forces and Saudi-led coalition forces were both seen fighting Houthi rebels in the same battle. In April 2016, it was reported that MI6 teams with members of the Special Reconnaissance Regiment seconded to them had been operating in Yemen, training Yemen forces fighting AQAP and identifying targets for drone strikes. On May 6, 2016, it was reported that a small number of U.S. military personnel had been deployed to Yemen two weeks previously to support Arab forces fighting AQAP in the country. They have been supporting Yemeni and Emirati forces fighting in Mukalla by planning operations and providing other assistance. The U.S. has also staged over 2,000 to 4,500 U.S. Marines of the 13th MEU offshore in a flotilla that includes the USS Boxer, supported by the USS Gravely and the USS Gonzales. On January 29, 2017, the New York Times reported that SEALs from SEAL Team 6 carried out a surprise dawn attack on an AQAP headquarters in Beta Province that a senior American official said counterterrorism officials had deemed valuable enough to warrant a ground operation rather than an airstrike. The raid lasted a little less than an hour, one American commando was killed and three others were injured, an estimated 14 Qaeda fighters were killed in the raid which according to the statement, led to the capture of information that will likely provide insight into the planning of future terror plots. A senior American official said a MV-22 Osprey that was sent to evacuate the wounded troops in the raid crash landed nearby, leaving two more service members injured and was unable to fly after the landing therefore it was intentionally destroyed by American airstrikes. In April, 2017, the leader of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Qasim al-Rami, 
issued a statement that his terrorist organization will keep fighting the Houthi Shia in Yemen. Al Rami also said he is ready to make truce with Yemen President Hadi government and to set for negotiations but with conditions. Both Al Qaeda and ISIS are fighting the Houthi rebels in Yemen. On August 6, 2017, The New York Times reported that, about 2,000 Yemeni troops, supported by dozens of advisors from the United Arab Emirates and a handful of U.S. Special Forces personnel providing intelligence and planning assistance, launched an offensive against AQAP militants occupying parts of Shibwe province the preceding week. In addition the U.S. is providing air-to-air -air refueling and aerial reconnaissance for forces involved in the operation. The U.S. first said it used targeted killing in November 2002, with the cooperation and approval of the government of Yemen. A CIA-controlled high-altitude predator drone fired a Hellfire missile at an SUV in the Yemeni desert containing Qadsalim Sinan al-Harithai a Yemenist suspected senior al-Qaeda lieutenant believed to have been the mastermind behind the October 2000 USS Cole bombing that killed 17 Americans. He was on a list of targets whose capture or death had been called for by President George W. Bush. In addition to al-Harithai, five other occupants of the SUV were killed, all of whom were suspected al-Qaeda members, and one of whom was an American. In May 2010, an errant U.S. drone attack targeting al-Qaeda members in Wadi Abida, Yemen killed five people, including Jaber al-Shabwani, deputy governor of Marab province. According to the Times, in 2010 the United States, in cooperation with Yemeni officials, launched four cruise missiles at suspected terrorist targets in Yemen. According to the Times, Yemen asked the United States to suspend the strikes after one of the missiles killed a pro-Yemeni tribal leader, Sheikh Jaber al-Shabwani, the deputy governor of Marib province, resulting in his tribe turning against the Yemeni government. The Times also stated that U.S. Special Forces troops were on the ground in Yemen helping to hunt al-Qaeda operatives. On June 3, 2011, American manned jets or drones attacked and killed Abu Ali al-Harithai, a mid-level al-Qaeda operative, as well as several other militant suspects in a strike in southern Yemen. Four civilians were also reportedly killed in the strike. The strike was reportedly coordinated by American special forces and CIA operatives based in Sana'a. According to the Associated Press, in 2011 the U.S. government began building an airbase in the Middle East from which the CIA and U.S. military plans to operate drones over Yemen. On September 30, 2011, Anwar al-Alaiki was targeted by a U.S. drone strike which successfully killed him. Samir Khan and a few other militants while they were all in the same car driving to get breakfast. Suspected U.S. drone strikes killed at least nine militants on 16 and April 18, 2012, in some of the first such operations in months. The two strikes were in Shibwe and Abiyan provinces, which were partially or mostly under the control of the insurgents. In March 2016, the U.S. military conducted an airstrike using jet fighters and drones in Yemen, killing 70 AQAP members. Since April 23, 2016, the U.S. carried out a further four airstrikes, killing a further 10 and injuring one Al-Qaeda operatives. On May 19, 2016, a U.S. strike killed four militants in the Shibwe Governorate area of Yemen. On June 3, 2016, a CENTCOM spokesman said that the U.S. military has conducted nine airstrikes against al-Qaeda militants in Yemen this year, killing 108 operatives.
On June 17, the Pentagon announced that it had conducted three counter-terror airstrikes in Yemen between June 8 and June 12. On July 1, 2016, Two Al-Qaeda operatives and another two were killed on July 4 in Chibwe province by U.S. airstrikes. On July 8 an airstrike killed an AQAP operative in central Yemen, on July 16 airstrike killed six more AQAP fighters and on August 4, a U.S. airstrike killed three AQAP operatives in Chibwe Governorate. The BBC reported that between August 24 and September 4 the U.S. carried out three strikes in Chibwa province that killed 13 AQAP militants. On December 23, 2016, Stars and Stripes reported that 28 AQAP fighters were killed in nine airstrikes across Yemen. On January 13, 2017, ABD al Ghani al Razas, a senior al Qaeda leader, was killed in a U.S. airstrike in a remote area of al Baida Governorate. CENTCOM released a statement saying that on January 20, a strike killed an AQAP operative in al Baida Governorate, on January 21, another strike killed three AQAP operatives, and on January 22, a strike killed an AQAP operative, also in the Al Baida Governorate. On March 2, 2017, various news outlets reported that the U.S. manned and unmanned aircraft conducted over 20 airstrikes, with further airstrikes on March 3, bringing the total number of airstrikes to over 30. A Pentagon spokesman said the airstrikes were conducted in partnership with the government of Yemen and were coordinated. CNN reported that the airstrikes took place Abiyan, Shibwe, and Baidhar regions on AQAP militants, equipment, infrastructure, heavy weapons systems and fighting positions. A U.S. defense official told CNN that the strikes had been planned for some time and were not the result of intelligence the U.S. obtained from the January operation. On April 3, 2017, it was reported that the U.S. conducted around 20 airstrikes against AQAP terrorists in Chibwa Governorate in recent days bringing the total number of airstrikes against AQAP to more than 70 since February 28, 2017. Pentagon spokesman Captain Jeff Davis told reporters that the strikes targeted the terrorists' equipment, fighting positions, and infrastructure. On April 24, Department of Defense reported that a strike against eight AQAP terrorists in Chibwe Governorate brought the total number of precision strikes on AQAP targets since February 28 to over 80. First Zinhabar, Defaz, 1 St Abian, 1 St Sanae, Rada, 2 Nd Sanae, Rescue Operations, Rada, Ib, 3 Rd Sanae. Second damage, Amran, 2 Nd Sanae, Houthi takeover. First Shibwa, Aden Airport, 4 Th and 5th Sanae, Marib, Ad Dali, Saudi led intervention, 1 St Aden, 2 Nd Abian, Lahaj, Saudi Yemen a border conflict, 2 Nd Shibwa, 1 St Mukalla, 2 Nd Taiz, Marib missile strike, Aden unrest, 1 St Aden hotel attack, 2 Nd Aden, 3 Rd Aden, 4 Th Aden, 5 Rd Aden, 6 Th Aden, 7 Th and 8 Aden. Military of Yemen, Tribal Fighters the strike on April 23 killed two AQAP operatives in Entral Yemen's Marib Governorate. September 23, in Marib Governorate near Al Baida, four killed. September 29, in Al Baida Governorate, two killed. October 6, 
in Chibwa Governorate, 2 killed, October 18, in Chibwa, 6 killed, October 21, in Marib Governorate killed Abu Hadi al Bihani, a senior AQAP leader and four others, November 20, in al Baida, 1 killed, November 24, in al Baida, 2 killed, November 30, in Hadramat Governorate, 3 killed, December 13, in Marib, 3 killed.